4 Causes of Boils in Babies and How to Overcome Them Boils in babies can be caused by many things, but are most often caused by a bacterial infection of the skin. Small boils usually heal on their own. However, if a boil in a baby is accompanied by other complaints, you should immediately see a doctor, because it could be caused by a serious condition. Boils in infants are characterized by the appearance of lumps on the skin filled with pus. Boils usually appear in areas that are hairy, sweat easily, and experience frequent friction. The locations of the baby's body where boils often grow are the face, neck, armpits, thighs, groin, and buttocks. Causes and how to overcome boils in babies. Boils that appear on baby's skin are most often caused by bacterial infections, such as Staphylococcus bacteria. These bacteria can enter the baby's skin through a scratch or wound. When it enters the body, the bacteria will then be fought by white blood cells. A collection of white blood cells, dead skin cells and tissues, and dead bacteria will then produce pus and form boils in babies. The following are some conditions or diseases that can cause a bacterial infection on the baby's skin, which then develops into boils. 1. Hair follicle infection. Bacteria on the skin can cause infection of the hair follicles, the base or roots of the hair, causing boils in babies. There are three types of hair follicle infections, including folliculitis, which is inflammation of the hair follicles, furuncle, which is an infection of the hair follicles in the deeper layers of the skin, carbuncle, which is a group of hair follicles that are infected with pus, where this condition is larger and deeper than a furuncle. This condition can cause pain and fever in babies. Folliculitis can go away on its own without treatment, while furuncles and carbuncles need to be treated with medication from a doctor. 2. Wounds on the baby's skin. Apart from bacterial infections of the hair follicles, boils in babies can also be caused by injuries from clothing or diaper friction. When a baby has a wound on his skin, bacteria from dirt or dust will easily enter the skin and cause boils. To prevent this from happening, the baby's diaper needs to be changed more often. Don't forget to change your baby's clothes when he is already sweating or if his clothes look dirty. Apart from that, proper baby skin care is also important to prevent and help treat wounds in babies that cause boils. 3. Impetigo Impetigo is a bacterial skin infection that is quite common in babies. This contagious disease can cause boils or blisters to appear on the baby's face, around the nose and mouth, neck, arms, and elbow folds. These boils will usually break on their own and form a crust or scab that is yellowish in color. This condition can heal itself in a few weeks. However, to speed healing and prevent transmission of bacteria to infants or other children, antibiotics are needed from a doctor. 4. Staphylococcal Scalded Skin Syndrome SSSS. SSSS is a severe infection of the skin caused by the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. This disease often attacks infants and children. When experiencing SSSS, the baby will have a fever for several days, then a rash will appear all over the body with blisters or boils that break easily. In addition, the baby's skin will also look chapped and the baby will look limp. Babies affected by SSSS need medical attention as soon as possible, because this disease has the potential to cause severe complications, such as sepsis and dehydration. Infants or children affected by SSSS usually require treatment for several days in the hospital. 
To speed up the healing process of boils in babies, do the following. Compress boils with a cloth that has been soaked in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes 3 to 4 times a day. Dress your baby in clothes that are clean, not too tight and absorb sweat easily. When the boil has burst on its own, clean the baby's skin using baby soap to remove the pus, then cover the wound with a sterile bandage. Don't forget to wash your hands before and after touching your baby's skin. In boils that are large or have ruptured by themselves, it is usually necessary to apply an antibiotic ointment. To determine the type of antibiotic that is suitable, you need to consult a doctor. Conditions for boils in babies to watch out for. Boils in babies are often not caused by dangerous conditions and can heal by themselves. Even so, sometimes boils in babies can also be a sign of serious illness. The following are some conditions or signs to watch out for if your baby has boils. The boils don't go away or get bigger in more than two weeks. Other symptoms may appear, such as fever, weakness, and seizures. Babies appear to be in pain when a boil appears, especially when the boil or the skin around the boil is touched. Boils grow on the baby's face, especially around the eyes. The skin around the boil looks red and warm to the touch. If boils in babies are accompanied by these conditions, immediately consult a dermatologist or pediatrician to get the right treatment.